Okay, it looks like we're live. Hello there. So today I'm going to be doing game development in C. Uh, so that's not really something I've ever done before. So it's uh, going to be a learning experience. So I'm using SDL right now. So I'll uh, talk about it in a second. Um, yeah, we're looking to build that SH. Um, here we have SDL2. SDL2. Um, so basically, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make clones of games. Um, certain games, uh, simple ones. So we'll start with Pong, as the name would suggest here, because uh, that's a really simple game to make. Um, and then we'll increase it in difficulty. So then make like Snake or something, and try to gradually increase the difficulty as I learn more. And then once I become somewhat familiar with it, I'll work on making like my own game, come up with an idea and all that stuff. So yeah, so basically all I have right now is this. it's a window and you have a block that you can move around like this and then yeah I have some debug stuff in there um so basically that's just taken from uh, this geese for geeks um yeah it's just the same thing as that uh, but I think I got enough from this to make to get started making something so oh uh, yeah I can get rid of these this was testing it so this is just checking the scan codes um so let's go over what we have in here so I'm using STL2. Uh, this is just like initialization stuff. This is the window, um, which I will adjust that to make it a little better in a moment. Uh, these are like render flags, render accelerated. Um, that's the create renderer, renderer. Uh, and then this is just like the surface, which is the object that we draw on the screen. Uh, and then we load, image load, and then uh, we create the texture based off the image. Uh, which is just a random image of like a tile or whatever I found. Um, and then we have to free it. Uh, and then this is like the rectangle which controls controls it. So then we initialize it. Uh, we set the size and then the position. Uh, and then this is, this is checking if it's closed. Uh, and this is just the speed of the rectangle. And while it's not closed, so this is like the game loop. Uh, we have the event and we check the event with a switch statement. Uh, if it's quit, then we close. Uh, if it's not, then if it's a key down, then we check what key it is, and we do stuff based on that. So this is just uh, moving the player. Um, and then, yeah, this is just boundary checking, so you can't go out of bounds. Uh, this is uh, just cleaning stuff up at the end. And then this is setting the frame rate to 60. Uh, yeah. And this is rendering, actually rendering the uh, rectangle. And then this is just at the end, clear everything up. Uh, yes, that's basically all it is now. So something I can do, I can do like um, width equals one thousand, height equals one thousand, and then we'll be able to adjust it. So let's see. I'm assuming the width goes first, but it might not be that. Uh, but yeah, then we can also do. Yeah, uh, let's see, where do we, where are we using, yeah, like here, anywhere we use this, we can change it to width and height. Uh, da, 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 da. And then in here as well. Because uh, that's just going to make it a lot better and a lot easier to change in the future. And so I don't know if this is based on the height or not. I'm assuming not. So let's try that. All right, let's see. Let's run this. All right, it's looking good. So now let's try to change it. Um, so let's try 1280 by 720. Oops. All right, and let's see what this will do. Uh huh. So it did change. Uh, let's make sure the boundary checking still works. All right, that looks good. That looks good. And let's make sure we can't go to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So that looks pretty good. Um. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what we've got to do now. So we kind of want to start on the left side because if you're familiar with Pong, which you probably are. Uh, you can look at how it looks 
All right, that is not what I wanted at all. Right here. Um, let's see, is there a good image of it? Why is it so hard to find a good one? Um, pawn game, perhaps this. Yeah, here we go. So this is what it looks like, basically. Um, it's pretty simple, just a bunch of rectangles, um, basically, with some physics and AI. So, that's what we're making, basically. It's going to look like that. So we can draw... I like it better when the player starts on the left side, though, actually. Um, yeah, so that's what I'll do. So we need to draw the player on the left, uh, the one that we control. And we also want to change it so it's more of a rectangle. So we can do something like that. Uh, nope, that is not right. There we go, so that's a little closer. Uh, I think it can be still... Maybe like... Yeah, so that looks pretty close. Uh, I think it's a little too tall. But yeah, then it'll just be up and down, so we don't need the left and right. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. So a little bit too tall, let's try that. Alright, that's pretty close. Uh, I could probably be... Okay, that looks about good. Uh, so then we're going to have another one that the player doesn't control as well. But let's try to set this on the left. So let's see. So that is here. This is where it's being set. Alright, um... That's pretty close. Um, yeah, so that's pretty good, and there's still the boundaries, um, so let's actually get rid of the left and right, because obviously you can't do that in Pong, that'd be, alright, so that's A, and B, alright, um, there we go, now it is Pong without the pong this. um, so let's make another rectangle and draw it on the opposite side. So, um, let's see. So we can do a similar thing here. Uh, let's see. What if, I think we can do, since we're using the same one, we can just do that, basically. Um, Alright, and let's try that. And we'll make it this too. And I'll change these to more descriptive names. Once we get it working a little. This is text. We might just be able to use the same texture, but alright, then we'll basically copy the initialization of this. Um okay. So that's actually gonna put it in the same place. So let's do let's just do divided by two for now. Alright, let's try that. See what happened. Alright, it didn't work. Um, I know why actually. Uh, so I forgot that there is more to handle down here. Uh, so we have this. We're not moving it, so what we need to do this. Change this to desk two. Um, and then let's see, we need to destroy texture two as well. Alright, there we go. So now it's drawn in the middle. Um, but yeah, so we want to draw it over on the other side, of course. So let's see, let's do like. Uh, there, so now it's drawn all the way over there. So we need to just kind of bump it a little bit. Alright, actually that's the wrong way. Oh, we have to subtract. Um, let's actually try this. Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Minus, uh, 20. Alright, 
Okay, and then uh, yeah. That's not what I wanted. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we need to align these basically. There now we can do like a plus twenty plus twenty just like that and there we go so now still not quite aligned uh, because this is The height, we actually want them both to be in the middle. Yeah, so we can do like uh, that. Alright, let's get close and then. in the middle and you can just go up and down and there is boundaries so that is already pretty close um, now we can draw a ball and then we have to add physics to interact with it so let's see ball 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 so actually can I just use the same texture for this obviously that needs to be different but the texture can be the same I am quite sure. Yeah, alright. Um, so I can get rid of this one actually. And anywhere else that I put this two. Uh, whoops. Two. There we go. Get rid of that. And it should all still work. Okay. Um, now. Let's see, so now. Let's, na uh, let's query replace actually with uh play alright this needs to be playing. see anywhere else there is desk That's good, let's make sure it still works. Uh, Alright, I seem to have missed some. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, that messed it up a little actually. Uh, destroy, destroy. Let's 
here. Destroy render. Destroy window. Right, and there's another 81. Play. Okay. Let's see now. Uh, desk two. All right. Did I rename desk two? Yeah, yeah. This should say desk two for right now. All right. Um. Desk two. Okay. Yeah. I think that we can actually query replace as well. All right, and let's see now. And there we go. Okay, now it is renamed, and it's a bit more clear. So this can be. Well, I'll keep it as desk two because I'm not like um, enemy. Is that the right term for it? I'm not sure. Uh, but let's make another one of these. This will be the ball. Uh, so we can do this. Ball. Ball. Okay. Um. This is show eyes player. And, uh, and then we will do the next one. Initialize ball pitch. I guess that's probably better. Uh, size and location. Size and location. All right. Okay, now we can grab this. Whoops. There we go. All right, and change this to ball. <coughs> All right, and let's see how that looks now. And I forgot to do stuff. So, see uh, how to do things and make it ball. And there we go. All right. So the ball is really um, a square. So that's what we want. Um, let's see if that's about the right size. Uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So now we have to make it move and then bounce when it hits either the wall or a paddle. Okay, um let's see, let's see. So right, ball speed. Um and let's just do ball dot x plus equals ball speed. Let's see what that looks like now. And it's gone already. Okay. Uh, let's make this. Let's see. Ball speed, yeah, divided by 30. And it should be a little slower. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that looks about right. So now we need to check the boundaries. Uh, so we can do a similar thing as here, but just change the ball speed once we reach it. So this is clamp player boundaries. All right, and let's see, so how many lines is this? 16, all right. Uh, and this is just handle ball bounce. All right, uh, let's see. 
All right, so then we want to just change the ball speed. All right, let's see. So this is if it is on the right side. Equals negative ball speed. Let me just change all of these. There we go, so it did bounce off. Um, now this time it's just gonna stop. So let's do here, let's see, um, ball speed equals negative ball speed. All right, so that is, it's gonna just bounce side to side um, once it gets there. Yeah. Okay, so the ball speed can't just be one value because it could be like a struct though let me think um yeah so that's gonna be like that um it's not exactly what we want Um, it does look kind of cool though. But what we want is, let's make like a struct up here. Type struct uh, ball, ball speed. And then this one is ball speed y. Uh, well, here. Speed x and speed y. Then this can be ball speed ball speed dot x equals 200 and then dot y alright um dot y and dot x okay and now one second uh let's see ball speed undeclared Oh yeah, ball speed, ball speed. Uh, there we go. All right. Yeah, so then down here, dot x, dot x. All right, and let's see, what else? Oh yeah, speed x. That is my bad. Forgot what I called it. All right. Um. Yeah. Then I have to change it up here as well. Speed x. Speed y. Speed x and speed y. Okay. And now, yeah, all right, so now it does that. So now we just have to do the same thing on the bottom. Let's see, so ball speed dot speed y equals negative, ball speed dot speed y. And then this is going to be the same thing actually. Alright, there we go. And now it is bouncing. Um, that's not exactly how we want it to look, though. Because, let's see, if we go back and we look at um, again. Yeah. So it goes more like that. Uh huh. Uh, the player needs to be able to move faster, though. So, let's make the speed like 800. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So let's see. 
So what we gotta do... Now we have to detect if it is in the boundary bounding box of the player or the enemy, essentially. So how will that work? Um, Actually, start the Y at zero, and then as soon as it collides, That doesn't work. Um, let's see. I don't remember exactly how to do this. Let's do SDL uh, boundary. Uh, that's not exactly right. Collision. I spelled it wrong. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So let's see, um... So that's zero on this side. So we basically want to check if it is zero plus the player width and the player X position. Mm 
Alright, it looks like it is bouncing off. Um, it doesn't go all the way over there. Uh, but, it's not exactly what we want. Because it also has to be inbounds of this. Um, yeah, actually, we, we should check this separately. So, if... That's kind of close to what we want, um, but we do have to check. And ball dot y plus ball dot h. Uh, player dot y plus player dot h. That's not quite right. Mm hmm. Boundary checking is, or er, collision checking is always what confuses me. Uh, let's see. Should make the ball go a little faster. Yeah, okay, so now it does that. Um, let's see, so we need to check that and. It's gonna be another and. Uh, let's see. And. Ball dot y, ball dot h. So this can be minus actually. Wait, 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 no. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, let me change the ball speed. Um, ball speed. I get four hundred. Four hundred. Whoops. That would go a lot faster. Uh, that's not quite right. Okay, um... Not sure why I did that, actually. It's kind of weird. Close, I think. Um, mm. right, that looks better, actually. Um, Okay, that's pretty close. Uh, and then it just bounces off like normal there. Yeah, it always does go down though. Uh, we can change that. But let's actually uh, do this same thing. But with um, 
fit the enemy. And we actually have to reverse it, I think, because it's on the other side. Not quite. Uh, da, da, da. That's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, obviously, that is not correct. That is not either. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, let's see. So it's on the right side now. So that is all the way with. So we need to subtract this, right? But that doesn't work. Um, to think about how this would work. for now to make it a little bit less confusing all right and let's see so now if we run this uh nope what if we comment this out no all right uh so this is the problem that problem Exactly what we want. Um, it almost is, but it just goes too far past it. So, let's see if we do that. Oops. That does not work. If we do that. Yeah, that doesn't work. Um, blah, blah, blah. So, hmm. Okay. Right, um, that looked pretty close. See, let's uh, do that, and then we can add in the next checking. Alright, y plus pi by h less than pi dot y plus pi dot h. Uh, bah, bah, bah. No, it's not pi though. It's a uh, plus two. Plus two. Now 
it breaks it uh because these are not right let me see um let me actually change this let me actually just add to it and then, then we can change its position as well, and that will help us get tested. Alright, uh, oh shoot, that doesn't work. Because that needs to be plus. Alright, uh, let's have it bounce on a little bit to us. Bum, bum, bum. I'm not very good at this. Um, It seems to bounce off of it. Alright, but that's not quite right. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So this one seems to work fine. So I'm not not quite sure if it's exactly right. Yeah, so it doesn't work at all. So I think I need to do uh something like that. That's not right. Uh huh. Alright, yeah, so it is like very close. Because if I'm not the top, it's just too high. So I need to like subtract. Morshi followed, thank you, appreciate that. Morshi. I like that name. Alright, uh, let's see. Hi, how are you? Uh, I am doing pretty good, how are you doing? Yeah, so that's not entirely right. Um. You're doing good. Uh, that is good to hear. Good to hear. Um, let's see. So if we... The top right is the highest value. Perhaps... Any tips you can give me? I'm currently doing basic JavaScript. 
Um, well, just it's um basically I guess uh, you gotta stick with it basically because it's gonna be pretty confusing at first. Um, but if you work through it, eventually it just clicks and then uh, you understand it. But then every time you try to learn something new in there, it's gonna be the same thing basically. Uh, where it's gonna take a while before you understand it, but then once you do, then you really get going, you know? Uh, yeah, because a lot of people think they're gonna understand it after like a couple days and then they'll be good at it. Uh, but it takes years before you really understand what's going on. So now that doesn't work at all. I see, but I saw people learn other language as well as their main language. Should I learn other language after I finish all the courses for JavaScript? Um, well, I think, like, it's not really that much about the language. It's more about the concepts in each language. Um, I'd say stick with one, though, because it's going to get kind of confusing trying to see the syntax of each one. And then once you feel quite comfortable with JavaScript, uh, then it's probably a good idea to start branching out. Um, and once you know one, it's going to be a lot easier to learn another because there's a lot of structures that are pretty much the same language to language. Um, but yeah, so I'd recommend staying with JavaScript and then once you can make some stuff with it pretty comfortably, then try out some different ones. Uh, yeah. But it's not something you have to worry about too much. Um, yeah. I see. By the way, what software should I install to use my JavaScript? Um, so I don't understand what you mean exactly. You mean to run the JavaScript? Because if that's what you mean, you can do that just in a browser. Um, like making an HTML file, and then you can write the JavaScript in that, and it'll run in your browser. Uh, but you can also use something called Node.js. Uh, if you download this, you can run it um, without a browser, basically. That's how it works. Isn't the browser needed to learn? Yeah, if you're doing HTML, you, uh, here I can, I can show you something. Uh, JavaScript in HTML. So. I don't know if you know this already, uh, but if you look, yeah, you need the browser for HTML though, but you don't need the browser for JavaScript because you can use something like Node.js to run it without the browser. Uh, this doesn't want to load. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, um, yeah, so if you look, uh, you can make you can use a tag in HTML script and then that's where you can write the JavaScript uh, and then if you run this page in your browser then it will execute the JavaScript yes indeed I see. What does Node.js do? 
Oh, well, basically that just lets you run it um, without the browser. So you can, I can show you an example, uh, Node.js example. So instead of it being inside your HTML, um, it's just, you can write a .js file and then you can execute that from your, from your um, computer without a browser, basically. That's all it is. Yeah, so you can write stuff like this and then you can also test it online, but yeah, then it runs stuff. That's basically basically all it does though. As far as I know. I mean I don't I don't do a lot of JavaScript. Alright, uh, I need to draw this. So box over here, box over here. Twelve AD. 720. So I've been asking a lot of questions because I'm from biology background, learning coding to do some science here. Yep, uh, I don't mind answering questions, and I like helping out new coders. Zero, actually, mm, this zero zero. So I need to subtract. Okay, okay. I saw in a YouTube video about uh, starting JavaScript. He said to install Visual Studio Code and Node.js, but I don't know what's the purpose of it or how to use it. Uh, well, so Visual Studio Code, that's basically just a text editor for writing stuff. Um, you don't have to use that if you don't want. Like, you can just use, uh, you know, Notepad or Notepad++ or whatever. Um, there are some nice features built into different text editors, like Visual Studio Code. Um, but they're not necessary. Uh, and that's not something, like, I won't worry about that too much. Worry more about the actual language and learning the concepts of programming. see what are you doing right now is it your project ah uh, yeah so basically I'm using a programming language it's called C and I'm trying to do game development with it uh, it's not something I've done before so I'm kind of learning so I'm just making a simple game uh, like Pong it's just an old game I don't know if you are familiar with it or not but uh, yes that's basically what I'm doing now I'm learning game development using C which is like a it's not really more complicated but it's like a harder programming language uh not exactly it's kind of hard to explain
I see. I used to learn Python and R programming in my mandatory subject, but now I forgot that and I want to start fresh. Alright, well, by the way, what should I call you? Uh, you can just call me uh, Cobb, I guess that is. That's my last name, so yeah, I mean, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, so Python and R, they're like kind of easier programming languages. Uh, JavaScript's one of the easier ones as well. Um, but if you already were familiar with Python, it might be easier to get into that since you already learned it before. Even if you don't necessarily remember it, it it'll start like coming back to you. Um, but yeah, if you want to use JavaScript, that's totally fine. Totally fine. Thanks for the tips. You are welcome. Uh, no problem at all. Oh, if I'm done learning, should I make a GitHub account? Why people encoding had the GitHub account? So that, uh, if I go to GitHub, I have one. Um, basically, when you write code, um, you can upload it basically to GitHub, uh, and then that lets you keep track of it. Like here is something that I was working on. Um, uh, basically, I uploaded the code, and then you can access old versions of the code. So, like, make the first version. Like, I can look here, 42 commits. That's basically each time I upload it here. And I can go back to old versions of the code um, and view it, and then I can see what I've changed since then, basically. Um, and, yeah, so it lets you share it with people as well as keep track of old versions of it that you've made. Um, so it's not... Like, you can be a complete uh, newbie and still do that. Uh, yeah, I would recommend setting up a GitHub account because that is very useful. Um, and then using, uh, it's kind of like you should search sort of how to use Git with GitHub. And that, you can find a video or something to explain it. Because um, it's not just GitHub. But yeah, so it's very useful to have. Also, you said if I'm done learning, um, so you're never really done learning um, programming at least, because there's always something new to learn.
so now I need to add Here I need to subtract I see it seems complicated coding with 100 plus lines. They show where the error is or we simply need to check it out ourselves. Uh, well, that depends on a lot of things like what programming language you're using and things like that. But usually it will tell you where the error is at, what line it's on. Um, and then you can go and change it. Especially with a uh, language like JavaScript or Python, they usually are pretty good at showing where the error is at. I see, so for now I have to stick to one language, set up a GitHub account, and continue learning. Uh, that's what I would recommend, yes. Uh, just pick one language, uh, yeah, set up a GitHub account, because then that way you can uh, keep track of your code, and then also um, there's a lot of useful stuff on there as well, like different projects and stuff, so you can look at other people's code. Uh, yeah, so I would recommend doing that. Um, and just uh, try your best to stick with it, and not just give up, because it can be tempting to want to give up, uh, but it is worth sticking through. I see. Thanks for the tips. If I have any question, I'll ask you if you don't mind. Uh, yep, that is fine with me. Uh, that's pretty close. Uh, I'm going to have to be done for the day. Um, I will be uploading this to my GitHub, actually. Um, yes. Can okay, you use ChatGPT to learn? Like, I want to know what the function is used for. Uh, you can, 
use ChatGPT, just you gotta watch out because sometimes it does make stuff up. Like, because uh, if it doesn't know something, it just makes it up because it has to give an answer. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. Um, Okay. There we go, and now it is up on on the GitHub. Okay, yeah. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. All right, yeah. So I am going to be done for the day. So thank you for watching. I uh, will see you next time.